because the plane would land in Miami. And just about that time, the stewardess came back, and I thought she was air sick. She was pale and white. She was pale and white. And uh, I offered to let her sit down, but she said no, she'd be all right. And then she went and told the other stewardess that a man had grabbed her wrist and pulled a gun. And she turned around and ran and called the captain of the plane. And at that time, another stewardess had been taken by the hijacker and gotten into the plane. Shortly thereafter, the captain announced that we would be going to Havana. Could you look this way? Look yeah. This How are you treated in Havana? Well, the Cubans at the airport were very, very nice. But we were told, you know, we'd be able to come any minute, you know, any minute. So none of us got much sleep. Well, they let the crew bring, bring back an empty, comfortable plane. We had to stay for about seven or eight more hours, take a two and a half hour bus ride, and then come back on, a, on another plane. And oh, it was really a nice.